Joanne, thank you so much for coming in and being a part of Artist Network TV and sharing all of your knowledge with us. I was wondering if you can tell me, how, lettering is such a specific um, area. Tell me a little bit about how you become known so well for this. Well, I can definitely trace it back to my roots, and my roots being a K through 12 art teacher. I was trained to be an art teacher. I taught every grade, kindergarten through 12th grade. And one of my jobs as a young art teacher, my, maybe my first years out of college, was that I was always in charge of the bulletin boards. Mm -hmm. And even though I loved to write, and in high school I took calligraphy, and I had, I had my art teacher was a master calligrapher. Mm -hmm. And then when I went to college, the chairwoman of the art department was also a master calligrapher, and I just loved these women, and they, mm -hmm. were, they were my role models. So I just always gravitated towards making letters in journals and I, I did art journals before it was even fashionable and um, so I just kind of always 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 even my artwork always speaks mm -hmm. and I've mentioned before yeah. that if you spend any time with me you know that I don't I never shut up and neither does my <laughs> artwork it always has words my art always has words and again being that K through 12 art teacher I had to I had very little supplies often so I would have to you know cut letters out of construction mm -hmm. paper so I would use that same pencil technique and cut out of you know construction mm -hmm. paper for orange and yellow for the fall and you yeah. know be very seasonal so it just all evolved from all the different jobs that I had as an as an art teacher and as an artist mm, I see so what's the most qu common question that your students ask you well most common or they always want to learn how to do a whole entire alphabet mm -hmm. they always want me to show them exactly what they should be doing mm -hmm. and that I don't do and I mm -hmm. and I always feel like that's a disappointment to them because they're like could you or can you tell me what colors to use mm -hmm. can you tell me what how to make these letters look exactly like yours mm -hmm. and that to me is the most frustrating because I can't give that to them, that mm -hmm. they have to discover on their own. Mm -hmm. So what my, my purpose and my mission is to empower others to, to, to find their own voice, to find mm -hmm. their own style, so that when you look at you know, some lettering, you know exactly who did it. Like I have people come up to me and say, I knew that was your work mm -hmm. because it was your lettering. Mm -hmm. So my mission in life is to help people find that same purpose and empower them with, you know what, I'm going to show you how to change things, but the mm -hmm. only thing that you already have and you're full of is let's say for lettering, is your own handwriting. Mm -hmm. So you can go take a calligraphy class, that would be awesome, mm -hmm. but you're gonna have to make a letter like it was made you know, hundreds of years ago and they're all the same. So what I try to do based on those questions is what color should I use? It's like find the colors that you love. Mm -hmm. What pen should I use? Find the pens that you love. Mm -hmm. These are some that I like, this is what I use, but it's really, teaching them that power mm -hmm. like I use that you've always had the power mm -hmm. um, Glinda the Good Witch because that's what it's all about mm -hmm. it's the fact that they learned how to write in first or second grade and that's the art power that I give them beautiful so we've had so much fun exploring these these letters and I know I, I feel empowered myself after taking these workshops with you um, and we had a lot of laughs on camera and off um, tell me what's one of the funniest things that that you've experienced along your teaching travels well in the past couple of years I've spent a lot a lot of time on the road um, traveling to different scrapbook stores and art stores mm. and art retreats sounds and, horrible and it's oh, <laughs> there's there you know there's way too many fun stories art way too many fun stories to tell some things I can't tell you and I'd rather keep it that way but one of my, one something that really sticks out of my mind is how hospitable people are when I come mm -hmm. into their um, in, into their towns and into their into their space to mm -hmm. teach and to spend a weekend with them making art mm -hmm. and that they're so gracious and kind to me and I'm so 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 blessed by that as a matter of fact one of the nicest things that always makes me smile when I visit it, and I'm going to laugh, is um, when I visited Oklahoma City, this um, wonderful little store in Oklahoma City called My Heart's Fancy. Mm -hmm. And I had full classes, four or five full classes of 25 women were all crunched in like this. Mm -hmm. And they made like a beautiful dinner, and we had 
so much food all weekend. And they're like, okay, we're going to bring some Rotel. And I was like, what's Rotel? And they're like, what? You've never had Rotel? And I was never like, I don't know. I live in upstate New York. No, I don't, I don't know what Rotel. So they had a fit that I didn't know what Rotel was. So when I left, I left with nine cans of Rotel. Like they all brought it from their cupboard and like, here, you're taking this home. So I did. I traveled home in my suitcase and my carry-on was like 52 pounds because I had seven cans of Rotel in there. And, and they, they followed the Rotel with Sonic. Sonic is the, is, you know, the, the chain that's headquartered right in Oklahoma City. Mm -hmm. So they brought me those six-gallon drinks. It's like, oh, you want a Sonic? Sure, I'll have a Diet Coke with lime. And it came and it was like this giant. And it was like, oh, you're kidding me. And so that was, those are just the things that always make me smile about the hospitality and the, the friendship mm -hmm. and the camaraderie that revolves around making art together. That is great. And there's something about food, I think, that unifies and Sonic all of us. And Rotel. And Sonic. And now, Rotel. what is Rotel? Oh, see? <laughs> I told, like, Rotel is chilies and tomato mm. and, and, and it's a can and it's and it's okay. huge but it's like the magic ingredient to making the best like queso Chili and queso oh. queso 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 yes mm. and you know how you make it a block of velveta cheese and a can of rotel and you microwave you mix it up and there's your super there bowl you treat. go so. brings us right back to alphabet soup <laughs> there you go. so much fun so much fun that is so much fun yeah, it was awesome it's awesome to be able to mm. do that for a living so yeah i'm sure yeah. well We've covered so much um, in these videos and, and in your book and, and your website and things like that. Um, maybe tell me in a nutshell, is there anything else that you'd like to tell your audience? Well, truthfully, honestly, um, I always feel like I'm going to fall short because you're looking for a certain thing mm -hmm. to copy and that's going to be your, you know, be all end all, mm -hmm. you know, art expression. Mm -hmm. if, if I don't give that to you, you're not going to get it. Mm -hmm. So what I really, really want that my, my people to have is, you know, that power. I want them to, to play and, you know, buy a cheap little, you know, composition book, have five of those books. The paper's so inexpensive. Mm -hmm. Printer, a ream of printer paper is so inexpensive. Mm -hmm. So find that power. Don't be afraid. Just do it. The paper's not very expensive mm -hmm. and, and work with your own confidence, your own writing. Take everything I taught you. That's why I give so much is because I want them to have enough ammunition. I want them to have mm -hmm enough um, information and ideas mm -hmm. to kind of carry their their artwork into something very signature, very stylized, that's their own. Mm -hmm. And, you know, again, it's that, you know, you already have the power, so mm -hmm. just go out and do it and just have fun with it. And don't be critical, don't be controlling, just enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Come visit us at clothpaperscissors.com and Artist Network TV to see more of Joanne's videos and learn even more mixed media art techniques. <laughs>